This is Vietnam. There were nine of us. Six bikes plus two more. The lead bike in front and the mechanic behind. We also had a support vehicle following us. Of the six bikes are five Royal Enfields and one Baja. Let me introduce you to our guides. Our mechanic, which is Kuyen, and the lead bike will be Hua. This was the first day and the boys were just starting to get acquainted with their new ride. For tomorrow, our journey will start. We left Hanoi the next morning. We passed by paddy fields and local towns, very muddy roads. This bridge with that view, then paddy fields again. When we reach the destination, we try to relax. Then we celebrate too. Come the next day, and we had a much more interesting itinerary. We did a mud hike, a very slippery one, then through paddy fields, onto a boat, to a lake, then an island. special place. <laughs> we barbecued for lunch here, but before we know it, we had to hit the road again. Now this is the part where the guides encouraged me to take the car, but I decided to sit on the bike. The road was so unforgiving, Joe and I probably fell twice or thrice. So I figured I'd go with Uncle Bernard, but we fell too. In the end, I had to go with Kuyen. And in two occasions, I asked him whether he wanted me to walk. And he said, no, so I never asked again.
The next day we went to visit a local market. Okay, so this is it. So they have plastic wares, I don't know what that is. Fresh vegetables. Look at the, how green these things are. Spices. See, they're not using fertilizers here. What else have they got? Let's see. So we have root crops. Uh, sugar cane. Ducks. Chickens. More chickens and more ducks. Fish and pork. <laughs> Where's your rifle? What are, you, what are you laughing at? Hà Nội ơi. <laughs> okay. okay, so this day we take this road. It's a red river. Red river. And this to Chung Ha Bridge and to Phong Cho Bridge. And we uh, to the left, no, still below the river to Phu uh, See, this day started just like any other. We were en route to Meervak when Steve skidded while making a sharp bend. Lost control, then fell on the side of the road. Then we found out Brett's rear tire is punctured. We are now behind schedule. Putting all that aside, we tried our level best to carry on. But while cautiously making an uphill turn, Steve's bike went to a fault neutral, causing him to fall the second time. Nevertheless, despite all the mishaps that day, he's okay, and that's more than enough for us to be thankful for. Bach is probably one of Mother Nature's greatest paintings. It takes you to this narrow bend, only to welcome you to a much more subtle, more peaceful scene where time seemed to just sit still. It reminded me a lot of the Shire in The Lord of the Rings. You know where the little hobbits live? <laughs> After 
After Mevak, we made our way to Babe Lake, where we will be spending two nights at a homestay. Again, the guides warned me of the road condition, advising it would be better I take the car. But stubborn little me had my own mission that trip, but I decided to still sit on the bike. The road was nothing we haven't seen before. It was narrow, fog everywhere, then a river crossing. Well, I got my butt piggybacked across that thing. Just when we thought everything's gonna be alright, we slipped on a turn black as ice. We were not hurt, bike wasn't, and we're lucky Uncle Bernard was behind to help out. So I'm back on someone else's saddle, but it's still good, all part of the adventure. After we arrived, we went to see Babe Lake, a big ass cave, then had lunch somewhere there. That same day was Patrick's birthday, and it's funny how the guides could pull off a surprise. They got a cake for him. Until now we have no idea where they got it from. And they did the same for Steve a few days back. Anyway, the day after was the last day of our riding trip. We will be heading back to Hanoi. It has been a trip like no other. Whether we will be doing this again, only time will tell.